Hello my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got a new episode of Plants vs. Zombies for you guys. In the last episode, we unlocked the Cabbage Pult and the Flower Pot. Now, you're gonna notice two new plants, the Kernel Pult and the Coffee Bean. This is because of a, sh of a slight video error. Um, I had actually filmed another episode of Plants vs. Zombies, but the file got corrupted. So now I have two extra plants than I did before. So don't mind that change too much. Um, it was just a video error on my part, and there's nothing, nothing really big about it. So let's get along and start picking our plants. Now the kernel pult is the same as the cabbage pult, only it can throw butter and, and corn kernels at the same time. And the coffee bean will actually allow us to use our mushrooms. But right now, I'm only going to have the coffee bean and the magnet shroom because those are the most useful and the most, like, practical things we can have right now. So let's start off with planting five sunflowers in this column, five cabbage pults, and five kernel pults, and let's see where that gets us. Um, I'm also going to be building flower pots up to this point. So we can have our optimal defenses and defend against these zombies. Now, right now, I'm going to save up for the cabbage pole. Alright, so now we've got him. So now this zombie will die. He's gone. <laughs> He's not going to survive, of course. No zombie can be left alive. Alright, now we need another cabbage pult. Now I'll wait to plant that sunflower. Um, yeah, let's go to the cabbage pult. And then we're going to start getting some of these guys. Because these are going to be really, really helpful. So let's place a flower pot right here. And let's buy a magnet shroom. And let's wake it up with a coffee bean. Now, when you wake a mushroom up with a coffee bean, any mushroom, it is a forever thing. It's an infinite thing. It's not like a limited thing where the mushroom will eventually fall back asleep. It's permanent. So you don't have to worry about it ever, like, running out. So as you can notice, he is sleeping right now. So we've got to wake him up with a coffee bean. But first, I've got to kill off this Conehead Zombie. Because he can get through, and sadly he can kill us. If I don't act quick enough. Which I need to get down a Colonel Pult. There we go. Oh, we need 75 for the coffee bean. I didn't realize, I thought it was 50. Alright, now let's wake this guy up. And there we go, we've got a Magnet Shroom in the daytime. Pretty awesome. Very, very cool. And also, to you guys, um, happy Thanksgiving. There will be a vlog coming out on Thursday on my vlogging channel. Um, just basically showing you guys what I do for Thanksgiving. And if you guys want to share videos that you take of your Thanksgiving, or if you want to share um just in the comments what you did for thanksgiving that would be really really cool and i would love to interact with you guys and just see what you guys did for thanksgiving so in the vlog or this video or something feel free to leave a comment or make a short little clip for me or something i don't really mind um i would just love to see something from you guys i think that would be really really cool but anyways getting back on to the topic of that video, um, there will be a link down in the description of this video when the Thanksgiving video is uploaded, which will be Thursday, like I said. So right now we've got the first onslaught of zombies coming, and we have a pretty good defense. We have two magnet shrooms and a column of cabbage pults and a column of kernel pults. So our defense is pretty pretty good right now, I'd say. Pretty solid. We haven't seen a bucket head in a long time now that I think about it. Yeah, these magnet shrooms are going to take care of these pogo guys. So that's helpful. 
There we go. Now he's just a normal zombie again. Well, no, he's a punk rocker zombie when he doesn't have his... When he doesn't have his pogo stick. He's just a punk rocker zombie or whatever. There we go. Perfect defenses. Well, kind of. <laughs> no defense is ever perfect. There's always a weakness. There we go. Let's get another flower pot. I don't know what I'm going to put in these three places. I have no idea, to be honest. Um, Because I don't want to put, like, a cabbage pole or a kernel pole or anything, just because... It'll be kind of uneven and everything, so I don't really know what I'll put there. Alright, so of course we survived the, for the first onslaught. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some magnet shrooms up in front to go along with these guys, the... Well, the three spots that don't have a magnet shroom. Let's put one there. And now, I'll fill this up with kernel bolts. So it'll be kind of even, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to make it even as possible. I don't like it when things aren't even. There we go. It's working out. I'm working it out in my head. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I got this. We will not be bested by zombies. There is no way. Uh, let's put that flower pot there. Need to wake this guy up. Dang it, I need more flower, flower pots. I need a lot more. No, I can't use that coffee bean yet. After this... Af after this level... Um, the coffee beans probably will not be used again, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think I'll need them, really. Yeah, I really won't need them. Maybe one or two levels, but other than that, they won't. you won't see them again. Alright, let's put him there. And we gotta wait for a coffee bean again. We've gotta wait for our sunflowers to produce sun. And there we go. Almost a full defense. We just need three more kernel bolts. And the magnet shrooms also work on football player zombies' helmets. So that's a really, really good thing. See? Now do you know why I put all these magnet shrooms? It helps. It really helps. See? He's dead already. And now here comes a ladder zombie, but that's not too big of a threat. He doesn't really do anything special unless you have a walnut or a tall nut. So, he's not really a big issue. Yep, everything's just take, getting taken out as soon as they come on screen, so I'm not worried at all about this. I just need one more kernel bolt, and then our strategy will be complete. And there we go. I would try and put pea shooters here, but I don't think we have enough time in the level. Yeah, so I'll just keep collecting money and just let the defense play out. There's no way these zombies are even going to make it close to our defense. Well, I mean, they make it right there, but they're not actually biting into our plants or anything, so... Even the coneheads don't even get that far. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, one of you gotta throw butter in this row. One of you. Oh no. No, don't eat my turnipult. How dare you. Don't you frickin' eat him. What did he ever do to you? And he ate the flower pot, too. Oh, my mouse is being glitchy. Stop it. Need to get that turnipult back. There we go. Alright, the final wave. Let's do this. Finish them off. Okay, that bucket head. Oh, yeah, the bungee zombie. I forgot about them. Yeah, sadly, the magnet shrooms do not do anything to the bungee zombies. But whatever, we already, 
we already won. There we go. I can't talk. You guys know that already. And we get a very cool item. This is a watering can. Now we can play in Zen Garden mode. In honor of this occasion, I present you your very own Zen Garden. Hey, I'll even start you off with a couple of sprouts. Growing them to full size, and they'll grow them to full size, and they'll reward you nicely. Have fun. All right, so let's take this water, take this watering can, and water these little sprouts right here. Just wait for them to get thirsty again, and keep watering them. And as you can see, we get coins from this, which is a really, really good payout because I'm currently trying to buy the roof cleaners so we can actually be a little bit safer on the roof levels now I've got to go to the shop and buy fertilizer hey welcome to the Zen garden section of my shop I'll give you some fertilizer for stopping by take a look around and see if there's anything else you like all right so there's a lot of new items here that we have not seen before there's a golden watering can there is a gardening glove, a phonograph, um, bug spray, and fertilizer. These can be used to grow plants in your Zen garden. And that looks like that's all the new things we have. So let's take some of this fertilizer and give it to these little plants. And as you can see, we have grown some marigolds, a green and a yellow one. Now these guys, we will see later on in the game, these guys produce um, coins instead of sun. So if you're trying to collect a lot of coins, then those guys could be pretty helpful. But other than that, they're kind of useless. Zen Garden is pretty nifty, huh? You can visit any time from the main menu. But enough of that, it's time to defend your house. I have to warn you, you're going to hate this next level. Why? Because it's non-stop bungee zombie after bungee zombie. I hate the... It's confounded bungee zombies. I hate them. Hate them with a passion. And a vengeance. A whoop. Here, here come those idiots now. <laughs> Sounds like our hatred for normal zombies. Alright, so this is a mini game level. So let's do this. Um, let's put that guy right there. Put that flower pot there. All right, we need some... Oh, it's one of these kind of levels. We got to use cherry bombs, I guess. All right, let's blow them up. There we go. Okay, we got to use chompers, um, pumpkins, cherry bombs, that kind of stuff. We got to use those odd plants that no one ever uses. Oh, just wait for these zombies to come around and then blow them up. They don't deserve to live. They're just zombies. Um, I'm gonna save him for when I need him, because I'm not sure when he may be needed. So I'm just gonna ha I'm just gonna keep him around until a zombie comes that needs to be eaten. Oh, there's a bucket head. Wow. I did not expect that, actually. Alright, let's put the him behind there. Let's put him right there. You know what? I'll just blow him up. Yep. There we go. Because I don't feel like dealing with the Buckethead zombie because they are annoying. So leave me alone. I don't want to deal with him. I should have put him right there. That's not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow him up too. Any bucket heads, I'll probably just blow up. Oh, the chomper actually ate him before he got blown up. That's nice. Let's put him right there. Him behind there. Protect you with a pumpkin shell. get another chomper. These three columns are just going to be chompers. It's going to be awesome. But really, chompers are just, chompers just get in the way because they take so long to chew and it's just annoying. They really do not chew zombies fast. Wow. 
Wow, the first onslaught hasn't even come yet. Protect you, since you're about to get eaten in a second. Nope. Not anymore, because you just got eaten yourself, Mr. Zombie. No! Take them. Aw, oh, man. There's no one to eat those guys. Well, that's alright. Wow. Okay, that guy started eating fast. They ate my chomper! How dare you? Yeah, that's what the ladder zombie does. He is not a very good thing. He is a very, very, very bad person. Blow up those ladders. Because those ladders will... Like, they will literally kill us if we leave them there. So we gotta get rid of those ladders as fast as possible. Jeez. How many bungee zombies can there be? I understand when he said there were gonna be a lot of them. Holy crap. Uh, um, yeah, let's just blow up the bucket head because I don't want to have to worry about him. That's right, you better swallow that zombie and eat the other one. <laughs> oh no, this isn't good. We're getting overtaken. We're getting taken down. No, come on. Alright, just get a cherry bump. Boom! Yes, there we go. Alright, now we're fine, I think. Uh, nope, nope, jeez. Holy crap, the three bucket heads in one row. I can't even regenerate that pumpkin yet. Crap. I'm panicking here, guys. I'm getting really close. Alright, let's just blow them up before they get any further. Wow, can you guys stop? Just stop it. Okay, um, we just need to survive the last onslaught and we're fine. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this guy to eat this chomper and then I'm gonna blow him up. There we go, I got rid of two ladders and three zombies, so that's a very good thing. Let's hope that mo most of these bungee zombies get eaten. I think they will. Alright, I don't care about the flower pots in back, just as long as most of these guys in the front get taken. Or get eaten. Um, this is gonna be a close one, guys. Oh no! Crap! I need a flower pot there. Now stop eating that plant. Stop it. Get out of here. There we go. All right, only one zombie left. Um, that chomper is probably gonna die, so I'm just gonna blow this guy up. And there we go, we got a new plant. We've gotten garlic. Um, divert zombies into other lanes. Alright guys, well we will continue this level in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, then please be sure to leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe. You can also follow me at the links below on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.